Hey guys, today we are going to be reviewing percent. So the first thing we're gonna review is a percent proportion. So whenever we're dealing with problems and we're talking about percentages, remember percents are out of 100 and that is a part out of the whole 100 and you can set it equal to the part out of whatever is not 100 and then we can solve by finding the relationship or seeing um, what the cross multiplication gets us. So let's look at number one. It says a summer camp offered a choice of peanut butter and jelly or PB&J sandwiches or turkey sandwiches for lunch. Out of the 320 campers, 30% chose PB&J sandwiches. How many campers chose PB&J sandwiches? So my first ratio in the proportion, I want it to be part out of the total. The question is asking how many campers chose PB&J sandwiches. I do not know that part, but I do know the total amount of campers. It was 320. And now I'm going to set that equal to the percentage that they gave us, which is 30 out of 100. Okay, before I solve this, the first thing I notice is that I can simplify that ratio. 30 and 100 are both divisible by 10. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify this proportion. 2x over 320 equals 3 over 10. Okay, now I'm going to cross multiply to solve. 3 times 320 would be 960, and then x times 10 would be 10x, and then my last step to get that part by itself would be to divide by 10. So I get that x equals 96. So that means that 96 campers is 30% of the 320 campers that chose PB&J. All right, let's look at number two. It says Corinne has 30 stickers in her sticker collection. 20% are vinyl stickers, 10% are permanent stickers, and the rest are decals. How many stickers in Corinne's collection are decals? So the first thing I want to do is figure out the percentage that the decals are because they didn't tell us that. So the full percentage of her stickers is 100%. And then it says 20% of them are vinyl, so I'm going to subtract 20 from that and I get 80. So, so far we're at 80%. And then 10% are permanent stickers, so I'm going to subtract another 10% and I get 70. So this means that 70% are decals. So now that I know that, I can answer the question, how many stickers in Corinne's collection are decals? I want to know out of 30... How many are decals if 70% out of 100 are decals? Okay, first thing I notice is that I can simplify that ratio right there. 70 and 100 are both divisible by 10. So I'm going to simplify and I get x over 30 equals 7 over 10 for my new proportion. And now I'm going to cross multiply. 30 times 7 is 210, and x times 10 is 10x. And now I'm going to divide by 10, and I get that x equals 21. So that means that in her sticker collection, 21 of the stickers were decals. Okay, let's look at number three. It says the manager of Tasty Sweets recorded the number of customers who ate a sugar or chocolate chip cookie and classified them by age. Results are in the table. Which percentage of these customers ate a sugar cookie? So the first thing I need to do is figure out the total amount of customers. So he broke them up by age, but I'm just going to add all of these numbers together to figure out the total. So seven plus five is twelve. So there were 12 ages 2 to 21, and then 2 plus 11 is 13, and 12 plus 13 is 25. So the total amount of customers is 25. And we want to know which percentage ate sugar cookies. So now I want to figure out how many ate sugar. Well, that would be 7 plus 2, which is 9. So now I can set up a percent proportion and solve for that percentage that ate a sugar cookie. 
So the total was 25 customers and out of those 25 customers, nine of them ate a sugar cookie and I want to know what percentage out of 100 ate a sugar cookie. So on this one, it's easy for me to see the relationship. I would do 25 times four to get to 100. So now I'm gonna do nine times four to find that missing value and I get 36. So I got that the missing value was 36, which means that 36% of the people ate a sugar cookie. Okay, let's look at number four. It says that Shelby buys a dresser from a thrift store for $15. She cleans it up and flips it and resells it for 500% of the amount she originally paid for the dresser. How much did she resell the dresser for? So this one, I don't know what she resold the dresser for, but I know that original amount was 15. And then she is going to sell it for 500% out of the original 100% that she paid. Okay. So now I want to solve this percent proportion. The first thing I notice is that I can simplify that ratio. 501 are both divisible by a hundred. So my new simplified percent proportion would be X over 15 equals five over one. And now I can solve this with cross multiplication. Five times 15 is 75 and X times one is just X. So there is the amount that Shelby resold the dresser for. It would be $75. Okay, now we're gonna look at percent of change. So this is similar to a percent proportion. You just have to make sure you're calculating the change. So the first ratio will be the amount of change divided by the original amount. And then the second proportion will be the percent of change divided by 100. So let's look at the first one. It says the original price of a concert ticket is $125. After one month, the new price is $150. What is the percent of change? So the first thing I want to do is figure out how much this concert ticket changed by. It was $125 and it rose to 150. So I'm gonna subtract to figure that out. And 150 minus 125, is 25. So now I have the change and the original amount was $125. So I can set up that part of the ratio. The amount of change was $25 and the original price was 125. And now I want to figure out the percent that it changed out of 100. Okay, first thing I notice about this proportion is that 25 and 125 are both divisible by 25. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify that ratio to make this proportion a little bit easier to solve. 25 divided by 25 is 1. 125 divided by 25 is 5. So I get 1 out of 5 equals x out of 100. And now this is easy to solve because I can see the relationship. 5 times 20 would get me to 100. So that means 1 times 20 would get me to x. So x is 20. So that means that the percent of change was 20%. And we would say that this was a 20% increase since we went up from $125 to $150. Okay, let's look at number six. In 2020, it was $1.25 on average for a half gallon of milk. In 2021, it was 75 cents on average for a half gallon of milk. What is the percent of change? So first thing I want to do is calculate the change. The original amount was $1.25 and then it went down to 75 cents. So I'm gonna do $1.25 minus 75 cents, which is 50 cents. So it's a 50% or 50 cent change. So now I have the change and the original amount was $1.25. So I can set up that part of the percent proportion. It'll be 
over a dollar twenty five equals I don't know what the percent of change is out of one hundred. Okay, on this one, I am going to cross multiply to find X. I'm gonna do 0.5 times 100, which is just 50. And then 1.25 times X, which is 1.25 X. So now I need to do 50 divided by 1.25 to figure out what the percent of change is. and I get that X is 40. So that means that there was a 40% of change here, and we would say a 40% decrease since the price went down. All right, let's look at number seven. It says the price of a TV was reduced from $400 to $300. What is the percent of change? So the first thing I want to do is calculate how much it changed by. The original was $400 and then it went down to $300. So the change would be whatever 400 minus 300 is, which is 100. So now I'm gonna set up my percent proportion. The change is 100 out of the original amount was 400. And that's gonna be equal to the percent of change over 100. Okay, first thing I notice is that I can simplify this ratio. 100 and 400 are both divisible by 100. So I'm gonna simplify this proportion by doing 100 divided by 100, which is one, and 400 divided by 100, which is four, and it equals X over 100. And now I can solve this proportion easily with the relationship that I see. Four times 25 would get me to 100. So one times 25 would get me to that missing value. So my percent of change is 25% and we decreased from $400 to $300. So that is a 25% decrease. Okay, and number eight says, last year, 1,200 enrolled for the first time at a community college. This year, 1,524 students enrolled for the first time at the same community college. What is the percent of change? So the first thing that I want to figure out is the amount that I changed. It'll be 1,524 minus 1,200, which is 324. So there is my percent, or not my percent, there's the amount that I changed and then the original amount was 1,200. So I'm gonna do 324 divided by 1,200 equals, I don't know what percentage out of 100. Okay, so now I'm going to cross multiply here I could simplify this, um, but I'm just choosing to cross multiply. So 324 times 100 is 324, 32,400. Sorry, that's what I meant, 32,400. And then X times 1200 is 1200 X. So then the last thing I'm going to do to get X by itself is divide by 1200. So those zeros will simplify out. So I really just need to do 324 divided by 12. And I get that X is 27. So that means that there was a 27% of change and this would be a 27% increase since the enrollment at that college went up. 